So uh, a couple weeks ago, I watched this African Queens, Queen and Jenga shit. And it was some feminist bullshit, but it really exposed what we really need to think about Africa. Especially this so-called uh, pre-colonial Africa. That this misconception that uh, these Africans were uh, so uh, gung-ho, pro-black, and they were like, we are not letting these conquerors, these, these, these colonials, these white men, these monkeys to rape and pillage our great land. And it, it, it's a complete myth. Your African kings and queens did not give a fuck about you. Your African kings and queens were actually jealous of white men. And when I watched this Queen and Jenga shit, a lot of people were saying, like, this is some fantasy bullshit. But it, it, it's really denial of what, and it, of what, um, what was the denial of accepting that the black woman is not no fucking savior. And this, this is the problem with this this white knighting of the black woman, this this black woman who who capes for you and does everything. Uh, this woman was not some uh, anti-slave um, revolutionist, and I, I've actually I've really gotten pissed off with the first two episodes of this shit. To where I saw so many contradictions, whether or not it happened, but uh, like like for instance, when Queen and Jenga. Uh, Allegedly killed her brother because her brother killed her father for power, and they kind of made this this um, this kind of notion that um, her brother was this weak king who had zero confidence and zero ambition. And I'm like, it, it just I'm just looking at this shit. I'm like, this 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 kind of feels like the 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 superiority complex that black women. Uh, naturally have for black men this 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 need or this belief that they're better than black men and then so um her brother has a son she has a nephew and so she kills her brother the king to uh in order to restore her kingdom to his glory as to her father she becomes this woman king and she does this, um, she, she tries to look for allies, so she, she, uh, seeks to get married, but, and this is the funny thing, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come back to it, I'm gonna come back to it. So, I'm, I'm watching this bullshit, and so she, uh, she marries this kind of king from a smaller tribe, and, um... He's like, okay, I don't know. So at first, he's like, I don't know what I can do with this older woman. And she's like, I, I have experience. I, 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 I'm this wildfire in the bedroom. And I'm like, what the fuck? It, like, <laughs> this is, come on. I thought this... I mean, well, come on. I thought this was Africa where motherfuckers were kings... Kings in their forties were were going to uh, primary school or whatever, looking for twelve year old virgins and shit, and having the whole village of women dance around with their titties, helicoptering and shit. I I thought it was this Africa. What Africa is it to where some old ran through bag is trying to throw her loose pussy? At a man's face and try to say that this loose pussy is worth gold. I laughed at that shit. And, and somehow they get married. Um, his dumbass ends up raising the, um, her niece. And then the stupid thing is that she ends up killing the niece. The, not the niece, the nephew, his boy. She ends up killing the boy because he's a boy. And I was like, I was reading all this anti-black male bullshit that I saw in The Woman King. So she kills her nephew, and then her husband is is left distraught of like I was raising this boy for so long, and I'm and he and it's he's so attached like he's my own son, only for you to kill him because you're fearing his rivalry to your throne. 
And I'm looking at this, I'm like, wait, this is the same bitch who you're trying to prop up as this African queen who's so f looking forward to liberation. It's crazy. I'm like, I don't, I don't understand it. So, and another thing was the, the concept of uh, concubines, especially from, it's actually not even a, a new theory. It's, 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 it's actually something that African men did. African men slept with, slept with African queens who had no interest in being committed to a man, and they, they slept, and Queen Njinga actually got pregnant, had a bastard baby. So even black then black women weren't shit. <laughs> so even back then they didn't value marriage and all this shit. And it was just crazy just watching the this 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 mind fuck. Queen and Jenga's legacy echoes throughout Africa to this day. It's time we all Like we really need to stop worshiping women. And the real truth about Queen and, and Jenga that a lot of pro-blacks, and I caught this while watching the, this so-called uh, docu-series, was that Queen and Jenga really didn't give a fuck about slavery because they were doing the same shit too. You know, they were pillaging villages, but then they kind of wanted to put that kind of feminist twist to it to where... It was only the men that were being killed, but the women were given a second chance of a, of a, of a dual citizenship, which is stupid. So it was like one scene where they, they, they pillaged the village and then like the queen and her daughter uh, were brought to uh, her throne and uh, Queen and Zynga mercyed them only because they were women. And it was just so stupid. I was like, okay, but you, ha but you had the nerve to kill your own nephew, and he was only eight years old. But hey, yeah, make that makes sense. But truth, truth be told, with this Queen and Jenga um, bullshit, was that this this woman, at least according to historical texts and what I've gotten from the docu series, was that this woman. Um, was jealous of white men. And this, this is the truth with these African nations or these African tribes. They weren't really nations. They were just tribes and kingdoms. Was that they were jealous. They were jealous that the white man came up with, a, with chattel slavery. Um, they came up with this system of slavery that was international. And niggas had this feeble mindset of, I'm just going to enslave a tribe that's right next door to me. And that, that, was, that was really the thing. It was a jealousy. If, black, if, if these African kings could, could do what white men would do, they would do it in a heartbeat. They would probably do it even much worse than a white man, truth be told. So we this this queen and Jenga this this mythical um, warrior queen who was killing the white man because she couldn't stand is 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 hogwash bullshit. This this woman was just a uh, was just someone who was who was just fighting a white man just to fight it, and they were jealous that the white man was getting more profit out of slavery than what she was getting. And she wanted she wanted the slavery for herself, but her nation, her kingdom, was too weak and too small to do global uh, to do global operations compared to what the Portuguese were doing. Because the Portuguese, uh, you know, they had ships, they had a navy. Africans weren't really they weren't trading with India. They weren't trading. They weren't. They weren't having post. In, uh, in, 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 the, in the Americas. Granted, yes, I'm aware of the Moors who were, um, who, who, who had access and privilege to travel, but they didn't have a navy. They didn't have an army to where they can fully, fully establish ports to where, uh, compared to Portuguese. 
They weren't having ports in, in, in the colonies or in the islands of the Caribbean or, or South America or India. Niggas were so small minded, they were just worrying about killing the next man in front of them. <laughs> so this this shit was just crazy, man. I I I could I couldn't really stomach the the feminist bullshit of it, and you know Queen and Zynga should rot in hell. 